Thanks for watching the Westminster Canterbury Richmond Construction Update for April. I'm John Burns. Starting out today on the ellipse where you can see that the construction team is readying the area here for the glass storefront or glass wall that makes up the exterior of the corridor from the promenade over to the Vital Living Center. The connector exterior is anticipated to get installed in early April. From here, you get a good view at the progress being made to frame out the Vital Living Center, which includes the locker rooms, the strength fitness area, walking track, two large group exercise rooms and yoga studio, as well as offices and workspaces. Many of you have asked about the green roof area. We're looking here at the area above the fitness area. This rooftop will be an outside landscaped patio, sometimes called a green roof. This will be a nice gathering or hangout spot for everyone on campus, especially the residents living in the Vitality Building. Inside the Vitality Building, interior wall framing installs continuing with lower level two and level one nearly completed. Mechanical, electrical and plumbing or MEP rough-ins throughout the building are continuing as the interior framing progresses. The Fraco scaffolding will be removed from the Vitality Building in the coming weeks as the exterior brick and the IFAS installation wraps up. Currently, the exterior brick on the Vitality Building is about 90% complete and the IFAS installation is progressing well. Also, the tower crane will be disassembled and removed from the site in the next week or two, depending on the weather. A lot of work is happening on the pool building, also called the natatorium. The interior, as you can see, has come along with the hole in the skylights now visible. The team is striving to have the exterior brickwork and the IFAS work on the pool building completed by around the end of April. Lastly, on this side of campus, the construction team is working hard to open up the new permanent corridor from the garden apartments to the existing tower on the lower level. We hope to have this work completed in April. When it's open, the crew will begin to take down the temporary corridor in front of the existing garden apartments. This work is slated to start April 8th, take about a month. Part of it will be taking the corridor down, then another phase will be landscaping and hardscaping. Now, let's head over to the Village Apartments. We're now in front of buildings one and two. As you can see, the exterior work is well underway. The roofs are going on, and on the interior, the crews are installing that mechanical, plumbing, and electrical systems. In the coming month or two, we'll see significant progress cleaning up this work with roadways, sidewalks, and final grading being completed while the interior work is being finished. At the clubhouse, interior finish work is ongoing and the kitchen equipment has been delivered and set in place. The exterior patio is being finalized with the railing installation and the fire pit being set in place. This is gonna be a great space for residents from all over campus to enjoy. And lastly, we're now in front of the nearly completed buildings three and four. The team is working on our final punch list items to turn it over to us very soon. The landscaping on this side of the village has begun to be installed as well as the roads and sidewalks are being readied for those first residents. As always, please respect the construction zone, stay out of the fenced areas. This is for your safety as well as the safety of the crews.